Oh, we are in for a treat, folks. On this episode, we're going to be taking a look at Triple Zero CMS 016D58. Man, that's a mouthful. The murderous, torturous protocol droid. Oh, my. Hello folks, the Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. I don't do unboxings very often, but this right here was definitely a character, a figure, that I was really, really anticipating. The die-cast edition of Triple Zero based off of its comic book appearance. For those of you who are lucky enough to score one, bless your hearts. Let's get right to it. Um, big thing now within the uh, collector world is the button cell batteries. Uh, they've been canceled, so uh, not a big deal. I guess the big the big scenario is is that well, if you're gonna get if you're gonna cancel the button cell batteries, it, it, at this point we're assuming, or at least most of the products that are gonna be arriving from Hot Toys, it's gonna be USB. But I get it with the protocol droid and the R&D that probably went into this, it's gonna be a little bit challenging. Now, I dig this Count Dracula uh, foam cape right out of it. And uh, look, my first impression, folks, is this paint application is some next level shit here. This is this is wild. Uh, I get what I see is that um, the way the light hits it, the the reflection of it, it gives off Robocop armor uh, uh, clues. It, it gives off that vibe, that Robocop vibe. The the, the thing with this thing, uh, with the um, paint, is that I thought it was going to be a solid color, but it's not. It's just the way it reflects. Now, I wanted to focus on the hands because, look, Hot Toys, they actually went above and beyond putting in some extra detail into these hands. These hands are, in their uh, in their own, are its, its own tooling. I mean, it really, really is. And I hadn't seen anybody uh, actually kind of zoom in, kind of 4K blast these hands because I, I thought the hands were just, were just very impressive. And just, if you can see, like, the inner palm, like, that's brand new too. And I thought what most people had probably thought is that they were just going to recycle the uh, C-3PO hands that were probably used like in Return of the Jedi, painted them this gun metal color, and then just glued on some uh, needles, syringe, some torture devices. But but no, that hand is 100%. It's a brand new tool. And so that's that's really, really cool. I'm just removing the foam that was embedded within the joints. And if you're not aware, uh, this protocol joint, this actual figure from Hot Toys, actually has a lot of removable limbs meaning that it's it's really designed to be kind of taken apart not on purpose but if you had to if you had to do some modifications of some sort you could the base is bland the base is boring uh i i it's it's a death star base uh i'm gonna use it i i specifically it's it's a die cast figure it's top heavy and you really really want to have a figure of, of this weight and caliber uh on display with a stand now the hands here the electrocution hands I'm studying them because uh, if you're not aware of, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to add some lights onto this. What's cool is that I can add the lights to the left and right hands here with the electrical effect, and I don't have to uh, damage the other pairs of hands. So I can, I can have its own power source. I can wire up the uh, the actual LED lights to these palms. Uh, I can probably blend the wires. I, no drilling. Uh, but maybe have the wires wrap around the uh, the arms and to, to have them let up. To me, that'd be kind of cool to have the actual hands. Now, the uh, the finger in the uh, dam, I mean, di uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, it comes with <laughs> the the normal pairs of hands. It's like its fingers meant to plug a hole of some sort. It's so odd, so very odd. I, I me mean, personally, I would love to see protocol droid hands articulated, but it, it could be challenging. Uh, it's not impossible. I mean, it's been done, right? It's been done by Tomashi Nation, so to have articulated fingers on the protocol droid can be done. It's probably not going to be cheap, right? This is a very impressive figure. Uh, just having it displayed like this and just having it doing these, like, pull-away cam shots, I want another one because this is one of those situations where you can have different looks with this actual uh, droid. I mean, if you just wanted to have a regular droid with its just a regular hands, you could. And if you wanted to have 
the representation of triple zero with the torture featured fingers and so forth, you absolutely can. Now, I'm gonna be USB hacking the head. I'm gonna add its own power source, add some lights on. I, I probably will add a red LED light. I'm not gonna burn out the actual light, that little diode there. But for the purpose of this review and unboxing, I'm gonna be adding the batteries onto it just to kind of show you. What I, I find a little bit odd, it's not so much frustrating as that it's a white diode light with a red filter. I mean, if anything, it, it should have probably been a red LED uh, because certain shots, it's, I feel like its eyes should be bloodshot red and they give off more of a orange reddish hue depending on the way the cameras and I thought it was my camera but it's not because I took shots of it with my uh, phone and I was still getting that same effect uh, and I went and I did some uh, I did some research on Google just to see triple zero's eyes I mean he is really meant to be super red but yeah you can kind of see from certain angles of the eyes you get the red but it's I think it's just because it's that white bright light diode behind it now this is just me experimenting because I want to see uh, the the effect of the light in fingertips, and uh, I, I'm not gonna ha I'm not gonna be able to have a flashlight. I just wanted to see how well the lightning reflects the light, and I'm only gonna probably just need two diodes, which I have, and and have them just underneath the palm, just to have the light reflect through fingers. So that I think that's gonna be cool. Ah, uh, another pitiful creature brought before me. Shackled and trembling with fear. Do you truly believe you can withstand the might of the Empire? But know this, in the presence of Triple Zero, there are no secrets, no lies that can remain hidden. I am the epitome of efficiency, the embodiment of Imperial authority. Every circuit, every sensor, every algorithm within me. Oh, sorry, the, the uh, transmission got intercepted there. So once Triple Zero is fully operational, he's gonna find a home with, within my droid factory, my personal little droid factory. And you can kind of see I've done minor modifications, uh, to say the least. You have a little protocol head droid there and a little BD, uh, a little BD droid there. Um, of course, it's a machinations, C-3PO. This is the, that's the gold standard, no pun intended. This guy right here was probably one of my favorite projects to uh, USB hack. He has his, he's completely independent and I love the exposed wiring to me. That's just, it gives it that more realistic look. And, uh, uh, I love these droids, everything about here. Um, I just, I had fun. I, I had 100% fun USB hacking. So yeah, uh, follow me and I'll be able to show you on a short, uh, what triple zero is going to look like fully powered and operational. I had fun. This is such a great figure my only regret is is that i'd like to get another one but unfortunately this thing is skyrocketed on the secondary market and i was only allowed to buy one i particularly when it comes to star wars droids i like to have two folks thanks for watching